hey you welcome back to my channel and yes I am finally posting my empty house tour with you guys I'm sorry it took so long but I did want to show you guys a peek of the neighborhood I absolutely love this neighborhood it is older and it has beautiful trees and then I'm showing you there is a park right there next to our home which the girls have been loving already so I am so excited to be able to share this with you and now we're gonna go through the front door uh, the owners did leave a few curtains and rugs and stuff like that in here but don't worry it is all changed out now but as you can see this is the front entryway as you first walk in on this side we are I'm gonna have my office in the front and then there's gonna be a wine sitting area over there and I cannot wait to decorate that area I do need to go buy furniture for it but that's gonna be all fun and games I'm also gonna put up some wallpaper in this room so it's gonna be a lot going on I am loving these wood floors finally getting rid of the carpet on the bottom floor so that is very exciting to the right of me is the kitchen it does have two separate entries into the kitchen but now we're gonna go into the living room I love that it has a gas fireplace all I have to do is flip a switch and not even worry about the wood so I am excited about that and the ceilings are a lot higher than my last home so my curtains do not work in this home which is very exciting because I get to buy new ones so that's always an exciting part of moving is getting new furniture and new items but now I'm showing the peekaboo area over the um, living room area and then we're gonna walk through the kitchen from this entryway and then this is the dining area um, the front part was supposed to be a um, dining area as well but we really don't ever use a dining room so that's I'm gonna put the dining room table inside of here and then use that other section as a wine room this is our backyard the patio is absolutely horrible but I will make it the best I can I'm showing you that tree because it is a pear tree that me and the girls are really excited about having our own little fruit tree in the backyard so that is exciting but then we're gonna go ahead and come back in there is Bambi um, this is our like second walkthrough through the house so I'm glad we could bring Bambi so that she can get to know the house as well this is the EDB laundry room. This is their appliances, so we will not be keeping their appliances. And then this is the pantry. Um, oh my gosh, right now it's absolutely a mess, but I will be posting a pantry organization video hopefully next week because it is very hard for us to function right now without um, the pantry being the way that I need it to be. And I have to use different baskets because the one from my previous pantry, the baskets are too big but I'm showing you how large the kitchen is and it also has a second pantry which right now I'm using this for all of my little small appliances and you guys will see that soon it actually worked out perfectly and this is the different view of the kitchen I love the little desk area for the girls to be able to use if they want to do homework it does only have one stove but I am still happy with it and then we come out this um, door from the kitchen and then this is the guest bathroom for downstairs um, they left this curtain so the curtain is gone now but um, I love this bathroom the actual vanity is bigger than our last one so I really like that this is my husband's office yes he actually gets the office now so he's excited about that too and um, it, it's really different for him to have an office but not me but it's fine we're making it work and then we just come on down this hallway and this is the master bedroom um, it has really really high ceilings I'm excited about the vents being directly over our bed because it makes the bedroom extra extra cool I like you know the air on like 60 when we are sleeping um, this is a nice little seating area that I made it into. I cannot wait for you guys to see what I have made the house into as of right now. And then we walk into the master bathroom. And um, I really like the shower because it has a stool for me to actually sit and shave my legs. And then there's the double vanity and the little toilet closet over there. Um, I do need to replace those light bulbs. I keep forgetting to do that. 
but I like that the um, window has blinds if I want to take a bath during the day I can close out the window and here is our closet it is his and hers and it is an absolute mess right now too guys so be prepared to see me organize this closet and now we are making our way back up to the entry and we're gonna head upstairs these stairs are a beast they are absolutely horrible and I actually get a workout with these stairs but anywho you go to the left here and this is the guest quarters as what I call it um, this is the guest bathroom they left a lovely little shower curtain when that's so nice so yes, that's completely changed. And then going down this little hallway is the guest bedroom. And this closet is actually going to be our coat closet because we do not have a coat closet. So this is where our coats are and a lot of our um, things that were in our office closet are gonna go in this closet as well. I am gonna have to get a bookshelf for that closet. So just trying to utilize it in the best way that I can but then we walk this way and of course this is my husband's bourbon room and it is already completely done but then you continue walking down this hallway and then we're gonna go into the girls bed bathroom um, they actually have different um, sinks so it's like a Jack and Jill type bathroom setting where they have their own sinks but yet they share the toilet and the shower area and then we come through this door and then this is Rhea's sink area and then this is her bedroom she's so excited to have her own bedroom so it's my oldest Lonnie finally um, and this is her closet I love the little cute little window in there gives her a little extra light when she's picking out her little outfits she's all about the fashion y'all she's so cute but going down this hallway then we're gonna go into Lonnie's bedroom that is my 12 year old here is a linen closet it's a pretty good size and I like the fact that you can actually walk inside of it but I didn't do that on this video but yeah it has another uh, corner shelves on the side there as well and we open up this door she actually has a the biggest bedroom besides our bedroom so her bedroom is a really really good size and she wanted it to be pink so she has a lot of my items that was in my office it's now in her bedroom my my rug my curtains um, a lot of my pictures things like that are now in her bedroom and sorry I'm like showing you the ground here <laughs> but um, we are now gonna walk into um, the theater room I really really like the theater room it's a lot bigger than the theater room that we did have before and I'm so sorry I think I'm yelling at my husband to come out the theater room <laughs> that's why the camera was like that but I'm um, going into here it is um, a projector already in here so that works out perfectly with the surround sound and boy does that surround sound work like it has your whole body throbbing it is insane my husband loves it I'm a little like oh my gosh let's turn it down but it also has windows in it so that's different for a theater room but I like that too if you don't want to just completely dark it out just go in there and relax I do like that it does have this stump in here um, I did have to separate our couch that we had in our theater room because the um, taller stump is not wide enough but guys that is the conclusion to my home tour I'm just showing you over the balcony and I will be posting next week so thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon bye bye it's 5 30 